Hey guys, and it's time for another episode of Android News. And as always, got some exciting stuff for you all. So Motorola has finally started working on Android Pie. I think in a few days you will get confirmed information on which Moto smartphone is officially getting Android Pie. If you ask me, I think the Moto G6, G6 Plus, G6 Play, the new Moto Z3, Z3 Play and the 2017 Moto Z series including the Z2 Play and the Z2 Force and yeah, at last the Moto X4 will be upgraded to Android Pie. See, I'm not sure about the Moto G5S Plus. It is a special edition Moto G phone. So I think they should update it. I'm not talking about the Moto G5 series, but at least G5S Plus is popular and worth upgrading. This smartphone definitely deserves that update. Next news is that Fortnite latest port is available and you can install it right now. It is working fine for most of the users. However, it may kick you out of the lobby showing VPN error. So I don't know working fine here, you can give it a shot. Links in the description, go and check them out. Another major news is that Motorola has dropped second soak test update for the Moto G5 Plus at weights around 178 MB and there are no major changes apart from the bug fixes, not even the latest security patch. So I think this month you guys will get the official update for the Moto G5S Plus, Moto G5 Plus, Moto G5S and the Moto G5 Plus. And I've already made a full review of Oreo on the Moto G5. It's pretty stable. I'll be making similar video for the Moto G5 Plus really soon. So stay tuned for that. By the way guys, if you are enjoying this video, do hit that like and subscribe button. That is really going to help me a lot. Alright, so 2016 Pixel XL owners are reporting that even after using fast charger, they are not able to rapidly charge their smartphones and that started happening after Android Pie update. So this thing needs to be fixed, working totally fine on my Pixel 2 XL. But the 2016 Pixel XL sometimes shows charging or charging slowly rather than charging rapidly. It may take time for Google to fix this. I think they will release the fix along with the September 2018 security patch or maybe early. I really don't know. Okay, so stable Android Pie AOSP custom firmware is now available for the Nexus 5X and the Redmi Note 4. And all you need to do is flash the particular firmware using the TWRP recovery. And it's not like Treble firmware where you need to flash different different files, pretty confusing. So AOSP rooms based on Android Pie are here and you can download it right now. Another custom firmware news, Lineage has already started working on Lineage OS 16 based on Android Pie and it will be available for supported phones later this year. So that's it with the Android news, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, you can leave your opinion and thoughts in the comment section below, thanks for watching and peace out.